I grew 10 different varieties of tomato this year and today I'm going to taste test them. This one's known as the traveller's tomato because you can pull pieces of it off and then save the rest for later. Let's give it a taste. It's got a fairly dry, crunchy texture. It's pretty balanced between sweet and acidic. I quite like the level of acidity it has, but the flavour's not super strong. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. This one's called Black Beauty and I really love the way it looks. It's like super dark and it ripens red from the bottom. Ooh. This one's nice and juicy, it's got a good level of acidity and a nice strong flavour. It's also quite fruity. I'm going to give Black Beauty an 8 out of 10. This one's called Alice's Dream, it's probably my favourite one I've grown this year appearance wise. It's got all these little stripy bits and different colours in it, but let's see how it tastes. Ooh, I actually wasn't expecting it to taste like that. It's not very sweet, not very acidic, it's super savoury and umami tasting. It's got a really complex flavour, I would say. I generally like tomatoes that have more acidity to them, but if you like a more savoury tomato, then you'll really like this one. I'm going to give Alice's Dream a 6 out of 10. This one's called Crushed Heart, it's got a really nice heart shape and it's like a nice red and black colour. It's got quite like a fleshy texture, it's nice and fruity, a little bit sweet, a little bit acidic, a good level of flavour there. I'm going to give that one a 7 out of 10. This one's called Lucid Gem, it's like a nice orangey red colour with black on the top. I'm not sure about that one, it's a little bit sweet, a tiny bit acidic, but it's pretty watery and doesn't have the best flavour in my opinion. I'm going to give that one a 4 out of 10. This one's called Cosmos, it's really pretty, it's got a little bit of black on the top of it and then all these little different coloured spots underneath. Let's give it a go. Ooh, okay. That one's super complex, it's got like all of the flavours. It's got the acidity, maybe a little less on the sweetness, but it's got acidity to start with and then it goes to like savoury and umami afterwards. Yeah, super complex, so I really like that one. Ooh, do I like that more than Black Beauty though? Do I like it more than... I think I like it more than Black Beauty. I think I got tomato juice on it. I'm gonna give that one a 9 out of 10. This one's called Barry's Crazy Cherry. It grows loads of tomatoes on these big trusses. This isn't even one of the biggest trusses I've had. That's a super interesting one, because it like starts off sweet and then it goes super savoury and then it kind of ends sweet again. Yeah, it's pretty unusual, I'd say. It's got really good flavour though, especially for such a small tomato. It really like packs in some good flavour. Barry's Crazy Cherry gets an eight out of 10. This one's Brad's Atomic Grape, which is one of the craziest, funkiest small tomatoes you can get. It's got all these different colours and stripes on it. So let's see how it tastes. I'd say this one has quite a good balance between savoury and acidity. It does have super savoury flavour, but it does have a little bit of acidity too, which is more of my preference. Brad's Atomic Grape gets a 7 out of 10. I actually can't remember the name of this one, so I'm probably going to have to put it on the screen, but it's just a nice little yellow cherry tomato. This one's got really good flavour. It's a nice balance of sweet and acidic with a little bit of umami as well. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. And finally, we have this tiny little one, which is called a red currant tomato. And it's basically like the original tomato, which a lot of tomatoes are bred from. So let's see how it tastes. It's actually kind of underwhelming. A little bit acidic, but not that strong in flavour. I'm going to try one more, just to check. I'm actually going to give that one a 4 out of 10. It's definitely not my favourite. Cosmos is definitely my favourite out of the tomatoes I grew this year. It had really good flavour, but Black Beauty came a close second. I'm also really happy with how Barry's Crazy Cherry did because it's so productive and you get so many tomatoes off it, so I'm glad that that one's really tasty. I did rate a couple of the tomatoes quite low, but if I compare them to supermarket ones, they probably come out on top still. I hope this video gave you some ideas of what tomatoes you could be growing. Make sure to hit the like button if you found it useful and let me know in the comments what your favourite tomato variety is.